So, Ascension Sunday is a summons to be Jesus, to be the body of Jesus. It's also a, a summons to be more attuned to the presence of God within as more than just exclusively outside. But Jesus says something even more provocative. He says, if you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father because the Father is greater than me. Which seems to me a very kind of jarring thing, thing to say. These, these people have their restless hearts are troubled. And, and now Jesus is saying, actually, if you truly loved me, you'd actually be really happy for me. And if I was a disciple, I'd say, look, can you just give me a minute to get used to this? One of the commentators says that Jesus is challenged them, challenging uh, the disciples to have a love which is not so much possessive as a love which is, is generous. And I think there's maybe two or three things here that give us an insight into this. The, the first is actually this, this stone here. It, it's actually a little bit unassuming, although you might suspect that there's something a bit special about it because it's the only stone which is actually on the side of the church. To the late Alexander Mackenzie by his widow and seven surviving sons who are now resident in Canada West. So Alexander Mackenzie was a mason in the, in the parish. Um, he lived just a few yards away from here. And in 1822, he had a son uh, and that son was called Alexander. And when Alexander, the, the son of this Alexander here, was 18, he moved to Canada. Uh, so this may have been interesting. Some of these videos have been watched by people in Canada. So if you're watching this in Canada, I hope this strikes a chord. Anyway, the, the son Alexander, not the one who's named here, but the son, he went to Canada when he was 18, went to uh, Ontario, and he too became a stonemason. Except his, his business became... Um, so successful that he actually had a bit of spare time in order to start a newspaper. So he started a newspaper and from starting a newspaper young Alexander went into politics and in 1873 he became the second ever uh, Prime Minister of, of Canada. I think he's the first one ever to be a Prime Minister and also leader of the Liberal Party. So um, Guy who has just mentioned the seven surviving sons here, one of those surviving sons went on to become the Prime Minister of Canada. And his uh, photo was celebrated for many, many years in this area. There would be photos of Alexander Mackenzie in local schools. And people were taught, you know, this is what you could become if you, I guess, if you work hard at your arithmetic. And, um, but there's a sense that people weren't upset about Alexander Mackenzie having left because they had learned to um, enjoy the fact that what he had become in, in some senses, um, was so much more. He'd become the prime minister of a, of a nation. And I think there's a sense of that in, in Jesus saying to the disciples, if you truly loved me, you would rejoice at me be going because you would understand that I go to the Father who is greater than me. But there's, a, there's an even deeper insight into Jesus saying, I, I want you to rejoice, which... Um, I want to just spend a little bit of, of time with. Thanks, Jane. 